time of prayer and reflection here from the Nottingham and Derby district. My name is Rosie Farrow and I'm the district facilities manager and safeguarding administrator. A prayer from the prayer handbook to begin. Forgive us Lord when we listen but do not hear, when we look but do not see and when we feel but do not act. Draw us by your grace into the righteous deeds of your kingdom and your reign of justice and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Earlier this week I was talking about things being in the detail and the detail of holidays and planning and preparing for holidays and then the detail of the passage that we listened to where it talked about Jesus feeding the 5,000. This evening I'd like to share something else with you which is quite detailed and this is a money box and you can perhaps hear it, it hasn't got a lot of money in it at the moment but it's a money box which uh, my daughter has been to paint a pot a number of years ago now and created it and then used it to save money. We think, don't we, about money in the bank and not necessarily it being a piggy bank, but it can be a money box or a money bank of other kinds. We think about the bank of mum and dad, or I certainly do quite often at the moment. We focus on having that those savings and looking after them and being careful with them so that we have what we need when we need it, hopefully. But a bank isn't just about money. And it was interesting when I was looking through uh, this book, it's called The Book of Uncommon Prayer, a book which uh, Michelle Sims, who was in the district when I started working for the district office, uh, was here with us and she introduced me to this book. And it talks about having a bank of prayers, which I really like the idea of, because sometimes I find it really easy to pray and I can sit and I can be quiet or I can be out in creation and walking or I can be in the middle of a huge crowd and I find it easy to pray. And then there are other times where I find it really difficult and I just want something to help me and to be able to get me started. And so this book has a bank of prayers. I'm going to use one of those in a moment. And the prayer that I'm going to use this evening is based on Psalm 141. And these are the words of the psalm to start. I call upon you, O Lord, come quickly to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. Let my proud prayer be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds. In company with those who work in iniquity, do not let me eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous strike me. Let the faithful correct me. Never let the oil of the wicked anoint my head, for my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who should condemn them, then they shall learn that my words were pleasant. Like a rock that one breaks apart and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of Shoal. But my eyes are turned towards you, O God, my Lord. In you I seek refuge. Do not leave me defenceless. Keep me from the trap that they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I alone escape. Some interesting and some challenging words there. I particularly love reading the Psalms and often use them as the basis of my personal reflections and personal times of prayer. 
And so as I said, when I read that psalm and had um, an evening prayer from the prayer bank to help me, it really made a difference to how I could pray. And so here is the prayer which goes with those words from that psalm, an evening prayer. Let's come together. Let's be aware of God's presence. Let's have that time of prayer now. I reach out to you, O Holy One. May you hear me when I call. Let my prayer be like incense rising up. Let my lifted hands surrender all that I am as an evening sacrifice. Guard my speech, O Holy One. Keep watch over my lips. Shield my heart from hatefulness. Let me not be seduced by schemes which lack love. Lord, let me be open to correction by those who are wise. But let me not be persuaded by wicked words and false motives which draw me away from your peace. I turn my whole being towards you, O God. I seek you deep within and far beyond me. I wrestle and strive to live with integrity, yet see pitfalls all around and my own weakness. But in you I take refuge, O Holy One, so protect me and guide me. Lord, we pray that you will be our protector and our guide, that in you we will find refuge, that we will find you in the silence and in the busyness of life, that we will find you in the people around us, that we will not be swayed by the wrongdoings of the world and the false motives, but that we will rely on you for our strength and for our love. Help us, Lord, to know what to say and when to say it, to know when to be quiet and when to intervene. Help us to know you in all that we do. Amen. And so as we think about our money bank, our physical bank, our bank of ideas, all of those times where we think of a bank of something, I encourage you to think of a bank of prayers, those prayers which you can turn to, whether it be in a book, whether it be on the internet, whether it be musical prayers, whatever they are, that you will have that bank of prayers that you can turn to when perhaps it's not quite as easy to find those prayers within your hearts. Pray that you will join us again next Monday for another time of prayer from the Nottingham and Derby district.
the Lord turned his face toward you. 